The difference between progressive and regressive taxes, we can include proportional taxes in, in this activity as well. The key to distinguish between the different kind of taxes is that we must remember it's a ratio between tax paid and income. Progressive, if there's an increase in, in income, the tax rate will also increase. Proportional, regardless of, of the income level, tax rate remain the same. And with regressive, if there's an increase in income, tax rate will decrease. So, the ratio between tax paid and the income. That's the key. But being economists, we can also show this uh, di using a diagram. We're going to show the relationship between the tax rate and income. With progressive, if there's an increase in income, the tax rate will increase. So, this uh, function will have a positive slope. This is then progressive. Proportional, regardless of the income level, the tax rate remains at the same level. So regardless of the income level, we remain at this tax rate, say 10%. This then, proportional. And then with regressive, if there's an increase in income, the tax rate decreases. So with an increase in income, there's a decrease in the tax rate, it's regressive. It has a negative slope. Yeah, I've done this just to show you that given scope, an economist can show any, anything using a diagram. But as we've explained over and over again, every diagram tells a story. In our diagram, we show the relationship between tax rate and income. And reading this diagram, it tells us the same story about the relationship between taxes and income.